Hi, I'm Josh Goldman, Senior Editor for Senior Reviews, and this is a look at the Nikon Coolpix S6000. It's a 14 megapixel compact featuring a 28 millimeter equivalent wide angle lens with a 7x zoom. That gives you just a little extra shooting flexibility, whether you're trying to capture landscapes or group photos or get a little closer to your subject. On back is a 2.7 inch LCD and a set of pretty standard camera controls, though Nikon included a one touch record button for movies. It supports resolutions up to 720p at 30 frames per second in movie mode with stereo sound. There's also a mini HDMI output on the side for playing back directly from the camera on an HDTV or monitor. Shooting options are geared for point and shoot users, so you won't find semi-manual or manual controls here, but you do get 16 scene modes as well as Nikon's auto scene recognition and smart portrait system with things like skin softening and red eye fix and smile and blink detection. Nikon promises fast shooting performance on the S6000 and compared to others in its class, the camera is quick. For example, it's able to go from off to first shot in less than a second, and its shutter lag is low too. Photo quality is overall very good for its price and class. The biggest issue is that images just aren't very sharp and really require a little sharpening with software once they're off the camera. Its low light photos are okay, but increased noise and smearing from noise reduction makes them best suited for smaller prints and web use. I'm Josh Goldman, and that's the Nikon Coolpix S6000.